What's up and welcome back guys. It's time, it's finally time. We're approaching the end of April. It's finally time to see if some of these smaller creeks are starting to wake up because some of these smaller creeks hold some big smallies. I've definitely hit uh, an 18 and a 19 out of this creek. And it's time to see if some of these are, are, are ready for action. They haven't been for a while. I've poked around and checked them out and they're just not quite there yet. Catch a little small dink out of it, but they're just not quite. They haven't, they've been hitting the snooze button. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna fish it hard today and see what happens, guys. Stick around until the end of this video because we're giving away some Torij sunglasses for you guys, and uh, I'll give you a little bit more about that at the end of the video. But for now, let's hit the creek. Guys, I had to tie this back on. This is the War Eagle finesse spinner out of the Bank and Creek kit. Uh, this is the uh, March, April edition. So let's get the last little bit that we can get featured on this little uh, spinner bait uh, before we kick you off with the next one. This is a skinny creek, so we're gonna try as best we can to uh, use this uh, finesse spinner to find us some skinny creek bass. There we go. Fish on, fish on. We found one. Oh, and he's got a buddy out there chasing with him. We'll get back out there and see if we can catch that one. Not too big, but hey, we are finding active fish out in a skinny creek. And that's always a plus. A little tenor. Well, he actually didn't come off of very deep water at all, did he? Oh, I bet he came. I bet he came out of that spot right there. That was. This is the deepest spot. There we go. We got it back. So an important thing to talk about when you're talking about polarized lenses, uh, like the ones I'm wearing here from Torige, is that even on non-sunny days or days that it's not bright, you still want to wear nice polarized lenses when you're fishing, especially if you've got clearer water, because it is definitely going to help cut the glare off that water so you can see better both what you're casting at, whether you're sight fishing or just trying to get a better look at like the structure uh, deeper in the water. And uh, also, I mean, it's just good for your eyes to wear polarized lenses is gonna cut those UV glare down. So uh, all great, great tactics to use. Make sure you're wearing polarized lenses when you're going fishing. There's a deep cut groove in that. This is like a big, it's like a slight, this, this whole creek has a bunch of slate flat slate rock and so when you get into those slate cut areas um you'll find like these dr these drop offs and deep cut grooves in creeks like that and this just happens to be one of those creeks that is built like that where you'll have areas that are three or four inches deep and then that slate just like breaks off and drops down to two feet and those smallies will use that drop off to either hide under or use as an ambush zone. So you can kind of see how it's got this cut and it doesn't look, I mean, optically, it's very deceiving. That drop off is about eight inches to a foot. And it only looks like, when you're looking at it from here, it only looks like a couple inches. I can see in this area here, we've got skinny, skinny, skinny. And then right back here, it cuts into a deeper pocket back there and it's kind of a great spot too because you got the overhanging shrub coming off the hill there which is going to drop bugs and food down in there for any potential bass and and there we go we got one great zone got to pay attention to all your surroundings again just a little guy but man we are finding them in the skinny creeks Little eight, eight to nine incher. Not bad, I will take it. The skinny creeks are waking up. Let's get another cast in there before he goes and snitches on us to all his friends that the war eagle's on the path. Man, one thing about these slate covered creeks is that they are as slick as ice. You can see this, what I call the snot grass. 
growing on them and man they are uh they are slick this particular creek the way it's formed it's got these waves in the sediment where it's turned into rock and it is it is like walking on a sheet of ice it is a uh, pretty treacherous and dangerous at times so i like to take my time getting through this creek it's not like those creeks that are filled with sand there's almost no sand here it is just rock rock moss and snot grass and uh i tell you what i've got uh some knots on my shin that are still healing from last fall <laughs> for where i uh i busted myself a few times here i've got like this fun nervous energy coming up because there is a uh what i would consider a wintering pool it's probably got about six seven foot of depth comes right off a riffle and directly into another riffle uh held an 18 incher that i caught last year on top water and i'm hoping hoping he just decided to stay in this pool all winter long and he's waiting for me so i've got like this nervous energy and uh i want to throw the spinner in front of him and see if i can't get uh see if i can't get a slam a slam dunk that was an alley-oop, by the way. There we go. It's a little rocky. A little rocky. I think that's what hit me the first time. A little rocky on the chunk crawl. On the deadly Nedley head. I think he had a buddy that came over this way. That's the one that got me wrapped around the, uh, the rocks or this tree here. Oh, I looked down for a minute. Smalley came out and chomped on the yum grub. A little white grub fire. Another just love what, nine and a half, ten incher. I think I would still classify this creek as not awake yet. It's still in sleepy mode. It does just not quite. The bite i mean we've got what three four three smallies on a little rock bass ah, that's not i don't think that's awake yet and they're real tiny guys so the big guys have not woken up and come out we're gonna pitch here for another 10 minutes but other than that we might just have to put a pause on this creek for about about 30 days i think another another month and this creek will this creek this creek will be uh fully going fully going ready for top water probably well, back at the house, and yes, I do wear my sunglasses at night. But I really do want to talk about like why wearing polarized sunglasses when when it's not like sun bright outside are important, especially when you're talking about fishing. Um, it will cut any just reflective glare down on the surface of the water. Uh, not only that, but when it is sunny, it's obviously going to protect you from the sun. But it, it's it really helps you to key in on seeing the structure and the fish. Uh, in, in the water and, and when it cuts that glare down you just have such a better perception on where to fish where to throw your bait and in, just overall it's, it's, a, it's a good idea to use polarized lenses when you're fishing now I want to do a quick demonstration for you guys they actually give you one of these little glare cards if you want to call it to show you how the sunglasses will cut down the amount uh, of glare and also bring in details uh, of, of the uh, of the sunglasses that the polarized lenses do for you. So check it out. You can see a little bit of the detail here where it says Tariq, but if you put the polarized lenses over top of that, you can see how much detail is brought out. The same thing happens when you're talking about putting these on and seeing that glare kind of cut away from the surface of the water and uh, helping you see structure and fish. So I wanna give these to you guys. All you gotta do is comment down below um, you can comment anything you want. You can comment about the sunglasses, comment about the fishing that we were doing. Just make me a comment down below 
and uh, you're entered into the giveaway. I will do a giveaway next week for these sunglasses as we are doing every single month for Torige sunglasses because they are an awesome partner. Make sure you guys go visit them at torige.com. Use my code if you want to purchase something if you don't win. MFM15 will get you 15% off any of the sunglasses at their site. They do uh, polarized, they got aviators, they've got ski goggles, everything you want. So check them out and good luck, comment away. And I'll see you guys on the next Fishing Mission. Yeah.